Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. We begin today with some shocking police body cam footage of an officer responding for a welfare check. He's confronted by a woman who's having a mental episode. She's wielding a knife, and it ends with the woman being fatally shot. Now we've learned she's six foot six and played basketball for Georgetown University. Amber Cagliano reports on a story in which we warn you, the video is intense. It begins with a knock on the door. An officer is doing a welfare check on the woman who lives in this apartment in Reston, Virginia. Hi, man. I'm Officer Lou. Uh, she slams the door shut. He knocks again. Little does he know that the woman behind the door is a former Georgetown basketball star, Sydney Wilson. She's 6'6". Six, six. Can you talk to me real quick? Can you please talk to me? We just want to check on you. Make sure you're okay, that's all. The door suddenly flings open and Wilson slashes the officer in the face with a butcher knife. Oh, Jesus Christ. Officer Peter Liu repeatedly tells her to back up as she charges forward. Oh, yeah. Back up, back up. Please back up. When she appears to lunge, he fires two shots, then three more. She collapses. You can see the officer's bloodied hand as he grabs his radio. Shots fire. When backup arrives, police try to save her. You can see the officer on the floor, his face bloodied. She cut me in the head. She cut you in the head? Yeah. At a press conference, the police chief says the officer tried everything to defuse the situation. Our police officer literally retreats, backs up, and runs backwards as he's pleading with this woman to stop. We showed the video to former LAPD Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey for her analysis. Was this an appropriate course of action? This was an appropriate use of uh, deadly force. When she did open the door, we see her lunge forward with a knife in her hand uh, over her head as if she's going to, you know, do some great bodily harm to this officer. Not long ago, Sydney Wilson posted this photo holding a certification in adult mental health first aid that she had just completed. The Georgetown University basketball team shared this tribute to Wilson, remembering her in happier times. No one could have ever predicted her life would end this way.